as you can see, my desk is a mess. Man, somewhat cleaned up. Barf. That's taco barf for you. Welcome back. Uh, yeah. Check it out. Pew. Sound effects. Pew. <clears throat> I got this little thing from work. Big shout to Marta at work. She got this bag, and this is my carrying case thing here. I'm going to use. Got the remote inside there. Got that thing that's got some parts in it. So what I did is I put the Insta360 Go on this thing as unobstructed, unobstructed, unobtrusive. I don't know what the right word is. I didn't hardcore mod anything <clears throat> to get it to fit on the truck. I modded a mount that I had, cut the arms off it, notched it. It kind of pressure fits behind the bar here. And then I put a piece of foam that's attached to it to just isolate it a little bit and keep it in place. Works great. Excuse me, man, hiccups. Um, I originally started with the horizontal mount and being OCD because, you know, the camera lenses on one side versus the other, they kind of put it over the shoulder of the truck versus in the middle. So I think I'm going to go with this. This mount had a center and I still got to clean it up a little bit. Um, it pissed me off is every time I put the camera in it, it kept turning it on because it was tight. So I cut out the center. I grooved this right here and it slides right in. I can put the lens on the top or the bottom, which I'll experiment with. Um, I added a tiny whoop sticker. Or is it Tiny Whoop or is it Newbie Jones? I think it's Newbie Jones. No, that's Newbie Jones. My bad. Either way, it's a sticker for the Whoop on the front. Kind of blacked out the grill a little bit more. And the cool part here, I added a sticker for GMB batteries and I made an exhaust. I had to get creative because they don't really have anything out there for this size and I wanted it to be as kind of realistic looking as possible. These are, let me see if I can show you here. And my little antenna, let's see here, section here. I don't know if I put the other one back or not. When you get certain quads, ah, oh, here we go. Certain quads, they have these little hard plastic things that you run the antennas through, and then it has a little plastic cover. And I had some extras in here. Oh, I see one, hold on. Do I got it? I do. So here is one of them. So it's a plastic little cover. I just glued two of them together. So I didn't have to paint anything, worry about paint chipping off, because I was gonna... At first, I realized how large a straw was compared to the size of the quad. I was gonna cut up and paint one of those, but it's significantly bigger than uh So it's not the scale. There's the right adult words. Back over there. So yeah, I uh, I got the exhaust done. You saw the neons yesterday. Um, on my first attempt at this with the other mount, I did get some footage. So I will put something together just to show you guys the HD footage. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. The Insta does an amazing job of taking out some of the, the jubbling around from the hard wheels on the hard floor. Um, I looked at it because when you're in the app, if you have the Insta360 Go, you can preview the video and then you can change if you want it wide super wide linear you can turn off hyper smooth and the horizon lock <clears throat> and i did that with both and it didn't look horrible but it definitely added a little bit more stability it's kind of cool because you saw the camera position sort of stay still in the truck wiggling around a little bit and then it drifting so i'm i'm happy with it and again it will literally just pop off if i had both hands just push in and uh, it will come right off because I'd like to get, like I said, chase cam versus the front. So I'll be messing around with that. Um, I want to give you some more footage from it and not in the basement once it gets nice out again. So you're not staring at my base room, basement floor and my old dinosaur of a furnace. But yeah, so I wanted to talk about battery life with it too because it comes with this stupid tiny little battery. It's only a 400 milliamp Um they have 450s out there, but I can only find them in China. So there's like a month wait for them, which I don't want to. They do make a 500 I did find on Amazon. Um, and it's a tiny bit bigger, so I might have to squeeze it in there, mod it a little bit. So we'll see. But I'm getting... They rate this at like 18 minute drive time. And I would say I'm right around there. 
pretty close. It's been stop and go, stop and go, but I keep going, wow, you know, if this is a flight, you're you're looking at your watch and you're like, holy crap, it's <laughs> I got five minutes. I'm amazed. This thing just keeps going. And with the little added LEDs I put on it, um, it doesn't affect it at all. And if you didn't catch that video, check back in my log of videos. I added some strips of LED, green LED inside here to give it an underglow kind of Tokyo Drift look, which uh, came out super, super cool. It looks great on the floor, so I'll have to get some line of sight sort of uh, from my cell phone so you guys can check that out too. But that is the progress. I am thoroughly enjoying this. It is definitely a challenge, and I think I said it in one of the last videos, and I'll repeat it. It's like learning to fly all over again, the frustration and it's like you accidentally get it. So I started drifting and smashing everything. And then I, I did like a perfect figure eight through the workbench. Um, and I was like, how the hell did I do that? And then I tried to do it and couldn't. And then I was getting perfect circles all the way around it. And it it's so much fun once, it, once you figure it out. Um, it's going to be another addiction, I'm sure, to the hobby. So stay tuned for some HD footage. I hope you guys are doing well. I know half the country has got some shitty ass weather, so it's still super cold here. We only got a couple inches, but it was insanely windy last night and just yucky cold today. Not fun. So yeah, I got a video posting tomorrow. It's the raw. I'm sorry. This is probably going to come out after that, so you'll probably see this Wednesday. So two days ago, Monday, you would... <laughs> You would have caught the raw Cinewhoop footage from one of our favorite locations because the SMO um, didn't turn on from a bad ground. And uh, I still feel like I should post it. So let me know what you think if you haven't already seen it. So on that note, stay safe. Peace out.